CPTJJCPV Evaluation and Management ENM Services Guidelines, page 5, part 6. We're defining concurrent care and transfer of care, right? And this is a continuation. We're concentrating on transfer of care. Consultation codes, the codes that you specify that is a consultation, should not be reported by the physician or, or qualified health professional who has agreed to accept the transfer of care before an initial evaluation. Okay? So, once you transfer the, the patient to the new doctor, right, consultation, there has to be an initial evaluation. Right? After the initial evaluation, then you can you can accept consultation codes because the the patient is already in the hands of the new physician and if if you if the first physician is consulted then he's a consultant now and, and there, there, there should be consultation codes then so all it's saying is that once the new doctor takes the patient and does a consultation or that does an initial evaluation then that patient is already belongs to the new doctor and if, if the first doctor intervenes somehow, he's a consultant now, okay? And now you can read that uh, a little more about the transfer of care right there. And then that's our theory for today. And now let's do a problem. So ready, set, go. All right, our problem is CPT JJRBA, page 253, exercise 43. And this is a level two exercise, and it reads like this. Tracheostomy. Traumatic, traumatic pneumonia, pneumothorax, thoracentesis. I think you should erase the traumatic pneumothorax because that is a diagnosis. Okay. We're not calling diagnosis, just procedure. So it's a, it's a tracheostomy and a thoracentesis, right? Okay. Uh, there are other uh, systems to code the diagnosis, which is the, the traumatic pneumothorax. But here in the CPT, we just code the procedure. So the, what was done to the patient? A tracheostomy and a thoracentesis, okay? So let's read the problem. Surgery respiratory. Mm -hmm. Patient was involved in an accident and had, has been sent to the hospital. Mm -hmm. During transport, the patient develops breathing problems and upon arrival at the hospital, mm -hmm. an emergency trans -tracheo -tra tracheostomy mm -hmm. was performed. Mm -hmm. And then following various x-rays, the patient was diagnosed with Traumatic pneumonia and a pneumothorax. Traumatic pneumothorax. Pneumothorax and a and a thoracentesis with insertion of tube was performed. Okay, pause it, please. Okay, so that is the procedure. Now we're gonna count to three, so you can give us the the CPT code for these these two procedures: this tracheostomy and thoracentesis. Okay, so one, two, three. Okay, the answer is 31603 and 32554. Okay, did you get that? If you got it, congratulations. If you didn't get it, let's give you a couple of tips. First tip. Um, this is a level two difficulty because there are two codes. There are two codes, right? For the first code, it start with? Tracheostomy. Tracheostomy, right? Which is a new opening into the trachea, right? And for the second code, it start with? Thoracentesis. Thoracentesis because it's absorption of liquid, right, from, from the thorax, right? So we have those two procedures. Now, the, the tip number four is that when you get to thoracentesis, they, there are two options. One is with imaging guidance. The other one is not with imaging guidance. It means that when, when the procedure, the thoracentesis is done, you're having a guide that, that is guiding the 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 operation, right? And this is done by ultrasound. In this case, we don't have that description in our text, so it is without imaging guidance, okay? There's an x-ray the, before the procedure, but that's not imaging guidance. It, the imaging guidance has to be, to be concurrent with the procedure. Okay, now then uh, tip number five is links for to understand the procedure, and we have five links there. Uh, two for tracheostomy, which is the first procedure, we have two for pneumothorax, which is the diagnosis. We're not coding this, but you should understand what the, the, the diagnosis is, the diagnosis, right? Uh, the, what the disease is or what the abnormality is. 
right? And, and then the last one is a thoracentesis, which is the other procedure. So please watch those five videos. And if you're fully interested on this, you can watch the rest. Okay, so the answer now is 31603 and 32554. So you have everything now. You have the tips, you have the, your links so you can understand the procedure, and you have the answer. Now we're going to come to three so you can stop uh, or pause the video and then give us the path, how we got to these two codes, right? So one, two, three. All right. Let's read the whole uh, summary of the problem. This is the surgery section of the CPT code book. It's the respiratory system. The patient was involved in an accident and has been sent to the hospital. During transport, the patient develops breathing problems. And upon arrival at the hospital, an emergency transtracheal tracheostomy was performed. Following various x-rays, the patient was diagnosed with traumatic pneumothorax and a thoracentesis with insertion of two was performed. Okay? So there, there are two codes. The first code is found like this. First you go to index. Go to the index. You go to tracheostomy first. Mm -hmm. Then you go to emergency. Yeah, because this is this is an emergency room tracheostomy, right? It, it, it was not a prepare a tracheostomy, but it is an emergency one. And there are three codes there, right? Right. Okay. Uh, 31603 through 31605. All right. So we're going to go to the tabular and see what are those, right? The 30603 is what? Uh, 31603. First you go to tabular. Mm -hmm. Then you go to 31603. That's tracheostomy, emergency procedure, mm -hmm. transtracheal. And that's what we have. But let's just look at, at the other. There's no 604? There's no 604, right? No. Okay. So let's just go to 605. 31605 is same thing, but it's cricothyroid membrane. All right. We don't have that in our text, so we eliminate that and we go back to? Back to 31603. That's why there's an equal sign there. It means that we found the first code for tracheostomy in an emergency room, right? But now the uh, thoracentesis was also done, right? The tracheostomy was so, so the patient could breathe. And the thoracentesis was to take out the liquid, right? That that was it's in the pleural cavity. So the thoracentesis uh, code through the index is found like this. First, you go to index. Go to the index. Then you go to thoracentesis. Go to thoracentesis. Three two five five four through three two five five five. There are two codes there, right? So now we're going to see which one we need by going through the tabular. So the uh, the code two through the tabular is found like this. Uh, first, you go to tabular, uh -huh. then you go to 32554. What is that? Thoracentesis. Without? Image guidance. Image guidance. This is ultrasound guidance that is done concurrently with the procedure. We don't have that in the text, so this is probably our code. What's the other one? 32555 is with image guidance. We, if there was an ultrasound guidance in, in the procedure in the text, we use this one, but we don't have that. So we're going to have gotta go back to? 32554. Which is the, the one the one without imaging guidance, right? So that's our code. Uh, so the answer is 31603 and 32554. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to visit our website. And also... And also you can subscribe to us in YouTube by clicking here for our new medical coding videos. Just clicking the subscribe button and you will get... You will get up to three videos every day that we make. ICD-10. CPTs, all that is to pass the medical coding certification exams. Uh, so don't forget to uh, visit our website and subscribe to our videos. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye.